stripe suit and Piotr Dubrov as EV2 in the blue stripe suit. EV2 will egress the Mini Research Module 2 or MRM2 first, and EV1 will hand out the new FGB Flow Control Regulator Panel 1 in its airtight container. Then EV1 will egress MRM2. The two will then translate to the FGB and install the airtight container on the FGB frame. The two will then remove the MLI on the FGB patch panel and disconnect the flow regulator panel one electrical connectors. The two will then work together and remove the failed flow control regulator and temp stow it out of the way. Then the two will open up the airtight container, take out the new flow control regulator and install the new flow control regulator panel one. MLI will be opened on the new flow control regulator and the connectors will be retrieved. The connectors will be mated to the FGB. Photos will be taken and all MLI will be closed. The two will then stow the old flow control regulator panel one into the airtight container and close the door. The two will release the airtight container from the FGB and translate back to the MRM2. Then the two will take the airtight container to Strela 1's operator post. EV2 will then jettison the airtight container. EV2 will then translate down Strela 1's boom and EV1 will make his way to the operator Once post. Again to EV2 will release the tether from Strela 1's end effector and docking compartment 1's handrail or DC1. EV1 will then maneuver Strela 1's boom from the structure and retract the boom while EV2 is attached to the end effector. The two will work together to reattach the tether from Strela 1's end effector to MRM2. Now EV1 and EV2 will translate to the SM connector panel number 9. They will demate three DC1 Coors antenna connectors from SM connector panel number 9 and mate three SM Coors antenna connectors. Then they will translate to DC1. Three lower frequency DC1 Coors antenna connectors will be demated, removed, stowed on the service module. Four high frequency DC1 Coors antenna connectors will be demated and routed to the SM panel number nine. The four high frequency DC1 Coors antenna connectors will then be mated. EV1 and EV2 will translate to the DC1 EVA ladder and remove the GAT spanner that is attached between the ladder and the service module. EV2 will then translate back up to MRM2's EVA hatch. EV1 will then translate around the DC1 service module interface to confirm the interface is clear for the undocking of DC1. EV1 will then translate up to MRM2 to meet up with EV2. The two will retrieve two test experiments and the two panels of the Nosilovost experiment from MRM2. The two will translate around MRM2 to the opposite side of MRM2. Panel 1 of the Nosilovost will be installed on handrail 6038 and panel number 2 will be installed on handrail 6007. Then one of the test experiments will be installed on handrail 6039. The crew will then translate back to MRM2 EVA hatch and install the second test experiment on handrail 6003. Then EV1 will egress first followed by EV2 and close the EVA hatch. This will conclude Russian EVA 48.